All of a sudden I could hear the fire crackling and then I looked down and I saw men's feet. I knew I was walking with bare feet and the tile was warm. I remember being in a, uh, a one-room hospital. I was taken care of, very well taken care of, and, and I would spend my days at like a poolside. Memories. But these are not childhood memories or memories of recent years gone by. These are all believed to be memories that came up during past life regression therapy. And as you cross that bridge, going back into your past life, just notice what you notice, seeing what you see. It's actually a type of uh, hypnosis that takes people back to a past life. Paula Johnson is a registered clinical counselor who has completed training in past life regression therapy at the Omega Institute, led by Dr. Brian Weiss. There's some things that we just can't explain in life, and we have connections with people. It's like we've known them, and we can be apart from them and come back and just feel like we're so connected to them. Like many of her clients, Paula started out skeptical herself. I think it's healthy to have some skepticism about, about this, and, and I didn't know what to expect either. And, and so now, you know, it's not, I'm not here to change people's minds or, or challenge their beliefs in any way. I went into it with like, I don't know what's gonna happen for me here. If nothing else, I'm gonna get relaxed. I'm gonna have a really great, you know, three hour meditation today. I had never been hypnotized before, so I was a little anxious, a little skeptical, not really sure if I was going to be in control of myself and I, had, I was extremely anxious about that and throughout the whole process there wasn't one time where I didn't feel safe. Many come in with skepticism and leave with clarity, like Lindsay who got some insight into a challenging relationship. I looked over and I saw um, a man on the bed and um, I knew who that person was to me in this life. So it was someone who I've had a really tumultuous relationship with. Um, for many years and so it was really interesting um, to view that relationship from a different lens. And what I've witnessed of other people in their own past life is that we are connected, that we have soul families and that they come into our life for a reason to help teach us the things that we need to learn in this current life and it's not just people. I'm finding out that we have contracts with animals as well, which again, you know, we have, there's certain animals that we connect with and we love our, this certain dog and remember it forever, right? And Paula says that past life regression therapy can help with getting to the root of specific fears and phobias. Her husband, Chris, has struggled with a fear of drowning his whole life. I was sitting with a whole group of people at a relative's house and they had an in-ground pool and the kids are all playing. And I look over and I see a body on the bottom of the pool, just lying there. And I panicked and I jumped up, dived into the pool with my clothes on and pulled this kid up. It wasn't my son, it was this child that was just playing starfish on the bottom of the pool. But it had brought in a lot of anxiety for me. But during a regression therapy session, a possible explanation came up. I was about 14 years old and I believe it was, I was uh, Vietnamese and war was coming into the village. So my parents, they stayed in the village, but they sent me on a boat that was overcrowded, just people everywhere. And it was uncomfortable, and it was a small boat, and we took off to go to a different country, a different land. And a couple of days in, it got really rocky and rough, and the boat went down, and I died, I drowned to experience people go through their own past lives and what they are learning because I always talk about life lessons and what you can learn from your past life and bring to your, your current life here. It's amazing what, what people come up with and, and how that has freed them. In Nanaimo, I'm Fiona Shedden. For now.